this is Karen from Grace Bee Creations and this is a little bit different. Usually you see um, the top of my desk, but today I am doing a different video. I did a poll over on my Instagram channel and I asked everybody if they wanted me to show you my new organization <laughs> and everybody said yes they would love to see it so I'm giving you a little tour of me spending the past two days reorganizing my craft room um, so as you guys have seen before most of you if you haven't yet go check out my channel um, I have a um, a video showing you a tour around my craft room. It's changed a little bit, so an update is probably good. But um, this is my craft room. Um, my cat is at the window right now. She loves to sit near my sewing machine. Um, it's beautiful out. <laughs> it's actually the sun's going down. It's almost 8 o'clock p.m., I think. But there's my sewing machine, and there's my little spools up on the side wall. This is my little shabby chic area right here. My chair and I've got my little shabby chic decorations. Um, and then I have my little sitting area there with my sewing machine. And this cabinet moved over here and I'll show you why. Um, some of you may know, I wrote on Instagram my youngest son gave me the money for another one of these. I had one of these colored shelves. Um, I needed another one because I was running out of room. With all of the stuff that I've been sent and I buy, I was really starting to run out of room for ephemera, lace, and all that good stuff. So, um, oh, here's my desk. And I get all kinds of all kinds of goodies to store stuff, but I really needed that extra room. And I ended up putting all my slim slim journals and flip flop journals on the top. And this one looks familiar. That's the one we just finished. <laughs> and my regular junk journals that I've done are up here. Those are my bigger junk journals. Those are the ones that I started doing. Um, when I first started doing junk journals. If you see right back here, that blue one, that's my very first junk journal. Most of these are up on flip through. I think all of them are, for the most part, I think. Look at how thick this one is. Let me see. <laughs> I think that's a five signature or a four signature, I don't remember. But let's just start off with here. This is my tall shelf. I'll back up so you can see it. Let me just back up a little bit. Um, this is my tall shelf here. I have all of my paper packs on the bottom, and then I have three bins, which I put all of the stuff that I work on. Like I have all of my projects in here that I, that I do. Like, you know, safety pins, all of my button cards are in here. Anything that I work on, I put in here. And then I've got my ruffles. And then I have more things that I do that I just put in here. Like I'll, what I'll do is I'll do a project. Like you guys have seen these. I'll go and throw stuff that I've done in here so that when I'm working on a book, I can just grab some stuff and bring it over. Up here. <laughs> oh boy. These are, the, these are the projects I've done over the past two years. Like things that you guys, some things that you have seen, like you've seen this. This is one of my, oops, that just came right out. Uh, you've seen this, but like little things like, like this. You guys have never seen that project I did. It's like a little flip open. I have all kinds of projects. I used to do a lot of projects when I first started the junk journaling. I did tons of projects, um, like just like cute little stuff like this for my junk journals and 
Uh, my style has changed a little bit. Sorry. I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing and holding the camera. Um, I'll, you know what? I should make a video showing you guys all the stuff that's in these baskets. Like all the different projects I've done. Um, here's one that you've probably seen. Um, stuff like that. I'll make a video showing you guys that stuff. So basically that's what's on the shelves. Um, over here, I organized and I have some stuff in there. These are all of my stamps. I've got tons of stamps. And these are all my clear stamps down here, all organized. This is my fabric basket, which my cat has now turned into her bed. So it's all squished down. I have a lot of fabric in there. That's my fabric basket down there. I have some ephemera. And I don't think you guys have seen this or not. But this is another book that I started that I haven't finished yet. <laughs> Shocker, I know. Um, these are the signatures. There's three signatures. Maybe this is another book we can work on together at some time. It's got really beautiful signatures in it. I don't know why I haven't finished this yet. Um, there was something came up when I was working on this book. I forget what it was, and I ended up just putting it aside until I wanted to finish it. But here are some of my favorite ruffles, book ruffles that I've done. Here's my pegboard. Here's my new sign that I made. Grace B Creations, that's my font. I don't want to get the glare, but see, isn't that cool? I have my laces, certain laces that I on rolls that I have hanging. Then I have my Sizzix Big Shot Switch that does all my embossing and cutting. I have all of my embossing folders here neatly in a basket. Um, my die cuts are all in this basket here. I sort out all of my die cuts by putting them on a plastic back, board back, so I can see all of my die cuts easily. So when I need to go do a die cut, I'll just bring this down here and I'll flip through and see what die cut I want to do. I have tons. I love doing die cutting, but I love embossing more. And then these are some of my most recent stamps that I've gotten. A lot of times if I get new stamps, I don't want to lose them <laughs> in the shuffle. So I'll put them over here. These are all of my beads. And these are all of my hard hardware. I'll show you. I'm trying to do this one-handed. I'm not used to doing this but this is all my hardware all of my closures and all my book hardware that I have in here look at these look at that awesome I'm gonna have to find a book to put that on but I have some nice hardware in there and then that one speeds up there let me see what else I've got this is specialty paper which acetate um, vellum Mulberry paper, dyed paper, regular paper, sticker paper for making my labels, um, cotton paper. Then I have all my inks here. This is my awesome printer. I love this printer. If you guys are looking for an amazing printer that prints 17 by 19 paper, that's the largest size I can make. Look at how big that is. That's how I made my sign up there. It does... 12 by 12 borderless. This printer is amazing. It's the Epson XP15000. I'm telling you, this printer is one of the best I've ever used. And it takes six inks, but they last a long time. Um, let me see. I've got my wax seals in there. I've got my punches there. I've got some other die um, punches there. All my wallpaper is down there. More wallpaper down there. <laughs> and then I've got the drawers, which I organized, which is why I wanted to make the video. So let's go through the drawers really quick. 
I want to show you guys what I did to organize. Maybe if I can help you. Um, let's start at the top. I'm going right to the middle because this drawer right here is the one I'm most proud of. So that's why I went to that one first. So this is where I have all my doilies. Whether they're inked, printed on, or plain, all of them are in there. This drawer is empty. I have, I have things that are going to be going in there. This, this is the one that my son just got me, so but I filled it up pretty quickly. This is specialty paper. This is like paper that's like specialty, different kinds of feels to it. And this drawer has, um, this is where I'm going to be putting all of like my junk journal papers that I start. The ones that I fold up and anytime I print something out from a kit, it's going to go inside there. I'm going to start naming kits and stuff that I download. This is the drawer. Nope, see, I'm going right to the... <laughs> I'm gravitating towards this drawer because I really want to show it to you. Oh, no, I, I am on the third one. Never mind. Okay, this is the drawer that I'm most proud of. This is what took me the most time. I went through all of my ephemera, and I sorted it out by what it is. Like, this is all Polaroids. These are Polaroids, all put in a bag with a with a hard backing on the back of it so I can have two sides. So I've got Polaroids, journal cards, antique postcards, die cuts, um, woman photos, like the old-fashioned antique woman. Then I've got... Um, miscellaneous um, die cuts of um, like journal cards, uh, guest checks, and you have more die cuts. And then you come here and you have um, frames, circles, um, page, um, page corners. Then we have embossed tags and embossed die cuts. Then we have miscellaneous, we have index cards, die cuts, and more die cuts. I sorted everything out by the kind of ephemera it is. So all I have to do is just go right inside the drawer and say, okay, I need some, um, I need some, you know, um, frame die cuts. I'll go and grab this or I need some embossed tags, I'll go and grab the other bag. Um, journal cards. And then I have all my Polaroids. So that's that. And I'll continue to add to that as I get more ephemera. And then I've got circles, wallpaper. I have, um, I have decorative cards. And then emboss car, um, uh, stitch cards on the back. I've got emboss cards. I've got tissue paper. I've got um, uh, index library cards. I have the little tiny stickers for, not stickers, little tiny journal clusters. So you get the point. You know, you've got all the ephemera, all the different ephemera. It's all sorted out in small bags. They're four by five by seven bags, and I cut a hard cardstock five by seven and put it inside so I can have two sides. My hand is going numb. Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let me shake it out. All right. In here, I have stitched ephemera. I've got um um stenciled um, paper. These are all stenciled book pages and stuff that I've done. This is the big one here. This right here is um, clusters. Like, um, you know how you have torn up pieces of paper? All my torn up pa pieces of paper are in here. And then I have the cotton on this side, embossed torn up paper that I use for like tags and doing all those different layering. And then on this one, I've got the brown paper bags that are ripped up. I've got the plain and the embossed. I sorted everything out by 
what it is. Very helpful. I needed to do this because I was working in piles and it was driving me absolutely crazy. Um, down here, all this paper here is for Slim Journals. These are all kits that I printed to make like slim, to make signatures. These are all slim journal papers to make signatures. So if I wanna make a book, I come in here and I look at all the signatures that I've got. Those are for slim and these are for the square books, not the slim, the regular size books. Those are signatures. Down here, I have embossed. Um, let me see, hold on. Is this the, yes, this is embossed paper. This is all my embossed paper. This side is all my cotton embossed paper. This is all cotton paper that, and tissue that's embossed. Oh, let me see, my hand is going numb. I have all my bags. I've got those bags and I've got all my glassine bags in here. And I have all of my brown bags in here. And then I've got book paper. This is all of my book paper. And this is all miscellaneous bags that are embossed. Flowers. Journal cards and CDs and envelopes. Oops. <laughs> Miscellaneous packing stuff when I send out packages. Stencils. Okay. That's all ephemera. So this whole drawer is all ephemera. This whole drawer is all lace. And I've showed you guys these drawers in my other video. I'll just show you a little bit. I've got all of my... Um, What's it called? Oh, my mind is in a blank right now. Applique, appliques, applique, appliques, yeah. Um, like all vintage, they're all the vintage ones that I've gotten. Really pretty from, most of them are from Crafty Me Shop. Esme, I won them. Empty drawer, still working on that one. These are stitched fabric and printed fabric miscellaneous lace handkerchiefs and napkins uh, fabric all of my sari silk all of my regular lace I'm gonna sit down now that I'm getting to the lower ones because my back is killing me from doing all this organizing. That's all of my um, uh, lighter colored laces. And we have all miscellaneous different laces there. Then I've got all of my rolls here. When I said I liked lace, I wasn't kidding. All kinds of different laces in here. more rolls. These are like pearls and we've got ribbons, um, all kinds of different laces or trims. These are thicker ribbons, miscellaneous. These are all of my colored laces, like ones like that, uh, ones like this. Got beautiful purple lace. These are all my colored laces. Really pretty laces. This is one of my favorite drawers. Okay, let me switch hands. Sorry. Let me turn. All right, where was I? Okay, next one down. These are all on spools that I did. These are all trims. See, I did them all by trims like that. These are all, all trims. Goes all the way back. And then I've got tons of lace in here. Some are rolled up. Sorry. I'm trying to like, I'm so uncoordinated when it comes to like doing something and then the camera's moving. Okay. 
And then I got more lace. This is just all lace, guys. Like, I have so much lace. Ribbon. All my ribbon is in that one. Let me see. Down here, more lace. And then down here, more lace. All right. That's all lace. So, that is everything that's in the drawers. Oh, I didn't know I could pan out like that. So that's that. And then in this drawer, that's my um, my Cricut, my favorite tool. I use that all the time, the Explorer 3. And here I have all of my favorite laces. I keep this one right next to my desk because it's the ones that I use the most. These are all the different laces that I gravitate to. So I keep them right at my hand, like right to the right side so I can come in here and just grab. I got tons of rolls and it goes all the way back. And then down here, I just started organizing that. That was full before of ephemera until I sorted it all out. This basket over here is all of my trims. If you, you'll see during videos, I'll pull out my trims. Those were all my trims are. Okay, these here are all of like my buttons and my safety pins and all little doodads that I use. These are all, you guys have seen me use these before. These are all of my little tools that I use, like my, um, my eyelets and all the little pins that I've got. I've got two more back there. And then we have my Mac. And then we have my glue bottles. This is my desk. You guys have seen that. There's a little light that I have above my, when I do my filming, there's my desk. Uh, and my lap, my MacBook, and my iPad. I use all, all that stuff. And then we have all the corner stuff here that has all the little stuff in it. Like, um, like um, butterflies and like all cut, we cut things like, like we got all flowers and butterflies and have flowers in here. These are all of my inks. These are the inks that I use all the time. This one here, I use it faithfully. All of my other inks that I use, my pen cushion. All this is all stuff that's cut, die cuts and flowers. So that's there. Same thing with that. I have all my safety pins in here. All of my safety pins, and then I've got all of my little, like, little ephemera pieces, and these are all like the little threads that I use. Um, and then this drawer here, this was full with ephemera until I cleaned it out. That's the tin with all of my, I showed this to you guys in a video the other day. This has all of like my stamped um, little papers that have words on it for my tags and stuff. And then this drawer here is more lace. <laughs> this is all the lace that I've gotten from Esme's um, sales that I do on her page. I've gotten all these, most of these from Esme. And then these are all from Ramona. This is all the stationery and stuff that she has sent me to show you guys. She's sending me another box, by the way. She has all new stuff coming to her shop. But that's all the stationery and stuff that she sent me. This drawer here is all my button making, fabric button making. And then these um, Ramona gave me. Down here is empty. And then this is all the fabric that I got from Ramona. Remember that package I told you guys about? The um, remnants package? A lot of you guys have bought it, which thank you so much for supporting her small business. I appreciate it so much. That's all the um, stuff from, from her shop. And then I just got some buttons, and I think that's it. I think I've gone through everything. All that stuff in that brown drawer is all my painting. All my painting stuff. I do watercoloring. 
Um, I think that's it. All those are my books down there. Down there, those are all of those book packs I used to buy before I down before I decided to start doing more digitals, downloading digitals. Um, I have tons and tons of 12 by 12 paper. I'm sure you guys can relate. Um, down here is just some of my bookmaking stuff. Um, that whole basket I have to go through because it's all fabric. And I think that's it. I'm blessed. I do. I say that every day. Every day. I am blessed for the craft that I have to work with and my room that my husband helped make me. So I'm very blessed. So I just wanted to show you guys um, an update to my craft room and to show you um and to show you this is the big tv i watch by the way i watch all of my youtube on there i'll be watching youtube on there i'll be watching something else on the <laughs> on the monitor here and then i'll be texting my husband on the macbook so i always have something going on in front of me while i'm working on my crafts um but i just wanted to show you guys what i've been working on all weekend so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be doing a tutorial tomorrow. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment below if you want to know where I got something and I can help you with anything with the link or anything. Just let me know. I love you guys. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. Um, I am almost up to 1,100. Uh, no, 1,000. Two, I'm almost up to 1,200. So I really appreciate you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.